Hey guys, Alex the Real Thinning Redneck here. I hope you enjoyed that last that previous video video. Sorry, I got hiccups. Um of the heavy duty flat car. Um and that was actually the last piece of rolling stock that I got for 2017. And I had a really long hiatus for model railroading because of the mini bike project. Um you'll see my mini bike somewhere on my channel if you look it up. That was probably the main reason why. I haven't done model model train buying in a while, but finally, this car is actually the very first car that I bought for 2018 in late July. I'm not even kidding, but yeah, can't wait. You you would have thought 2018 would be a hiatus for model train videos. Heck no. In fact, I got so much stuff from 2018 to review. In fact, you're done looking at the printout picture of it. Time for the real thing. Boom. The Atherin Roundhouse CSX 40 foot pulp wood flat car. And no, I do not have any pulp wood. Nor do I know what pulp wood is. I wonder if they're. I wonder if it's another word for firewood. Because this looks like the kind of car that you could do that stuff with. But anyway. Yeah. Basically, before I do a feature overview, I'm going to explain what these cars did. They carried. Um, cut up logs not parallel to the car but they cut off logs like this and they carried them and these walls what what the walls did they kept the load from sifting obviously and they actually had the logs piled up about this high to where my hand would be and it was actually really really cool and yes I'm still watching the Polar Express and for the third model train video I'm filming um, yeah. Um, so, just so you know, CSX does have pulp wood flat cars, but I, but they're not in Plant City or Central or South Florida. You gotta be in Georgia. You can only be as far south as Georgia to see them. Jacksonville or Baldwin if you're lucky. Maybe on the Panhandle, but, you know, they don't run trains in the Panhandle like that anymore because they've all been routed to the Fitzgerald sub. All right, so let's get let's get into a feature. All right, let's do a feature overview of this car. As of how other roundhouse cars are, it's a vi they do extra a little bit more detail than what the ready to roll cars are. Obviously, um, as you see here, this is the the bulkhead or or end wall to keep it low from sifting. As I said earlier. Um, Lots of rivets here, specifically on these, on these beams between the, the hole. Which is really cool. Lots of rivets. Rivets across there, rivets down here, even rivets around the top. And here are the grab irons, and no, they're not separately applied. CSXT 403782. Um, whatever these are. But yeah, and here's the McHenry coupler, standard on all Athen rolling stock and locomotives. Some good detail around that area too. Um, moving on, moving on to the side of the car, you get two two inch eight p comp shoes, whatever that means, and it has a sticker that says "Ease Up," whatever that. And I can't really read the sticker right there. Oh, I think it says Never mind. If you know what it means, if you ha get a magnifying get a magnifying glass and read it. <laughs> and on the side of the car, nice detail of rivets around here, as long as the perimeter bottom, nice rivets there. More grab irons with the rivets around the perimeter there. That same that that same ease up sticker on the other end of the bulkhead wall. Um, builder's plate. Load limit 130,400 pounds. Not bad. Um, and another sticker there. Another two, eight, two inch comp shoes there. One more a step to go under the grab irons. And more rivets around here. Oh my goodness. They did not. They did not sort cut any rivets here. Going on to the other end, you got the brake wheel with the lines going to the to the tanks of the car. We will see that later. And 
and the un and the usual amount of lots of rivets here with the McHenry coupler on the other end. You have a nice detailed deck here with a couple more rivets, and for some reason there's a there's a beam in the middle of it. And right here there's another there's like a plate that's triangular and it's like set and it cuts the area in half or something. I think it holds the wood better, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know much about these. So I'm sure some woodworkers are screaming through the computer right now saying, you're stupid, you don't know much about this stuff. Yeah, genius, because I don't live in the where this kind of industry is. So, underneath the car, you got the, the weight and the chassis. More rivets, nice. And you have the, the tank, um, I think a brake cylinder, and then whatever that thing is. Um, standard 100 ton trucks. Nice detail on that. No rolling bearings or springs. It would be cool if Atherin did that though. The snap, the snap coupler plates that I absolutely despise. And um, if you go onto my Atherin Roundhouse Rock Island gondola video, you'll hear me explain why. Um, yeah. The nice swivel, nice swivel. Same with the couplers and all that stuff. Haven't had any issues with this car. I mean, it's a Popo flat car. There shouldn't be any issues. It's pretty good. Well, well built. Nice quality. The end of the, the end of the car, basically. The end of the other side of the car, also really nice looking. Same detail. So yeah. So, hope you enjoyed the feature overview. Um, we're gonna put this car on the tracks and have a train. All right. We've got the car on the tracks with my Atherin heavy duty flat car from last time, the vi the uh, the rock gondola from before that, the well car from before that, the and the open hopper from before that. Eventually, going to change this train up a little bit. Um, and just so you know, the power is different. It is an Atherin CSX GEAC 44 CW, and yes, I did put. I did put these air conditioners on, but yeah, unlike my, unlike the locomotive you saw, this one, this one does not have working disc lights, so it's going to be kind of boring for you, but still, it's an Atherin, it's pretty dang good. Alright, CSX, let's pull this train forward. You notice how I've been using constant CSX engines, at least for the last couple videos. Because cause I'm modeling after CSX, obviously. Um, there goes. Alright. Accelerating. Accelerating. Yeah, this isn't a bullet like my other one is. But eventually, once the motor warms up a little bit, it's going to be pretty fast. Alright. Now let's wait for the train to go by here. All right, now um, there it is over there. Let's watch it pass by again. It's still pretty fast, but it's not as fast as the as the. And Genesis locomotive is. But eventually, it, eventually it's going to speed up. Let's see. Why we'll does it go through the junction again? Ooh, I noticed that. That's not good. Thankfully, it's not going the other direction. There's the train again. I'm going to have it pass through the railroad car.
Don't shoot at me.